Nicole Rubinetti is a first-year English teacher at Eastside High School in Newark, New Jersey. Eastside High School is a comprehensive high school with a magnet touch. Demographically, Portuguese, Brazilian, but it's definitely a diverse high school as well. Nicole enjoys teaching and has a close rapport with her students, but planning engaging lessons for her 80-minute classes is a constant challenge. It's when the kids are bored and when they aren't interested in what's going on. Because then I have to reflect and think, okay, maybe it's me, maybe I'm not presenting this in a clear way. Today, Nicole is starting a new unit on writing personal statements for college. It's a critical set of skills her students need to master, and she's been working closely with her department chair to plan the lesson. A lesson plan embodies what students are going to do throughout the lesson, what actual skills you're going to teach to students, and what students are going to do with those skills in order to master them. So a lesson plan creates purpose. So tell me a little bit about the class that uh, you're going to be teaching tomorrow. They are juniors. Mm -hmm. So some of them have already taken the SATs, um, already taken the HESPA. So the last couple of weeks are really going to be geared towards college, um, real life practices, that sounds perfect. So you're going to start working on uh, personal statement writing for the next class. Yes, I want to introduce it. What do you think your main goal is? One of the first steps that I talk to teachers about when they're going to plan a lesson is really thinking about the end in mind. What do you want students to walk away from your class knowing? And that is your objective. So the objective is specific and skill oriented and it has to be measurable. My main goal is going to be to have the students complete the introduction to their personal statement. We have to be very specific. The skill here is persuasive writing, I would say, because students have to persuade a college that they need to be accepted. When I think about your lesson, the objective is you want students walking away from your classroom knowing what effective and ineffective strategies for personal statement writing are. Okay, right over here. Okay guys, today we are going to go over personal statements. By the end of class, I want you to be able to identify if that's a powerful personal statement or if it's ineffective and just general. Once an objective is clearly defined, the next step is to break down the lesson into manageable parts. When I think of a lesson plan, I, I, I couch it in terms of a do now, um, a mini lesson, guided practice, independent practice, and then your assessment. And each chunk plays a part in achieving the goal that you've set out from your objective.